Welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we are going to go over how to use the OpenPyXL package with LibreOffice Calc. The example shown will also work with Excel and Numbers, etc. In this first part, we will provide an introduction to the basics of the OpenPyXL package. After this introduction, we will cover the other following topics in separate tutorials, including append and access loading from file, functions, insert images, insert, delete, move, rows and columns, numpy and pandas, charts, styles, conditional formatting, filter and sort, and data validation. To install OpenPyXL, you can use the OpenPyXL documentation here, or download the package into an Anaconda package environment. For the imports, we will use from OpenPyXL import workbook. To create a spreadsheet workbook, we use workbook equals workbook with the round brackets. To save a workbook, we can use workbook.save with the path of where we want to save the workbook and the Excel SX extension. So we created and saved the workbook. And here it is. Now let's open the workbook with LibreOffice Calc. And here we have a blank workbook. To get the currently active sheet in the workbook, we can use worksheet equals workbook dot active. Right now, we have only one sheet in the workbook called sheet. To rename a worksheet, we can use worksheet.title and assign the new worksheet title. In this case, worksheet1. Let's go to our LibreOffice Calc worksheet and go to File and Reload, and we will see a change to the worksheet name here. To assign data directly to cells, we can use the worksheet variable with the cell identifier and then assign a value. For example, worksheet cell A1 equals 0. And you can see 0 has been assigned to A1. We can also assign data using the cell method. Worksheet.cell row 1, column 3, with a value of 100. And now we have the value of 100 in C1, which is row 1, column 3. To create a new worksheet, we can use worksheet 2 equals workbook dot create sheet and put in the title. In this case, Worksheet 2. And here we have our new worksheet. To change the active worksheet, we can use Workbook Active equals Workbook with the title. Now, we can assign data to the newly active worksheet, like in this example, where we use worksheet A1 equals 1. And you can see we have assigned the value 1 to A1. To change tab colors, we can use RGB hex values. To find a list of RGB hex values, just do a search in a search engine. Here we use worksheet 2 dot sheet properties dot tab color and we assign the hex value. Which will give us a green tab. 
If you would like to copy a worksheet, this can be done using workbook.copyworksheet, and inside the round brackets, we put workbook.active. And since we ran the cell twice, we have two copies. To view the workbook worksheet names, we can use workbook.sheetNames. Or use a for loop that accesses the worksheet titles. Normally, you would save your workbook at the very end, like this, instead of putting it in each cell. So you could create your code, save the workbook at the very end, and then go to Run and run all cells. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.